I think Vengex is going to be the next villain in Power Rangers, and I'm going to prove it to you. As I said beforehand, I think the main villain of the next Power Rangers season is going to be Vengex from RPM once again. And I have proof to back me up, because in a, in a synopsis of the next Power Rangers season, we've heard the next main villain is going to be a s evil sentinel computer virus. And what is Vengex? A evil sentinel computer virus! Drop the mic and whatever. You want more evidence? Oh, 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 oh. We know for a fact that Vengex is still alive today. He is still alive. He was not officially destroyed because in the last scene of the last scene of RPM, this happened. As you can see from that clip, Vengex is very much alive. It's always possible he's found a way come out that morpher and go into hiding for a few years to rebuild himself, to get stronger, to get smarter once again as you know Vengex learns very quickly as you can see from the series and it's always possible it's always possible Vengex, Vengex learnt to go back in time or jump dimensions this would explain how Vengex got to modern day earth as well as a different dimension Plus we've seen this before anyway, we've seen RPM Rangers go back in time plus dimensions before because Scott in the episode Clash of the Red Ranger in, in Samurai went to a different dimension, he went to the modern day our dimension, he went to our modern day Earth somehow and Vengeance would always learn how to use that technology, use that technology because it's still out there it was never explained how it got made but it's always possible Vengeance could in the future or now found that technology put himself into it, went to a different dimension or different time comp um, completely and it's been dormant there for the past 10 years or t past how many years it's been so, since he's been gone and he's been planning to take over the Morphin Grid himself because he, he has a clear reason to go after the Morphin Grid because the Power Rangers have been kicking his ass for so many for so long now he chose to go back in time and go back to the, and attack the core power of the Power Rangers, the Morphin Grid itself. His first thought pattern is probably going to be, if he goes after the Morphin Grid itself, he will destroy the Rangers of his time and the Rangers before him and present day. So he can just get on with world domination and control everything. So that is my theory guys. What do you think of it? Is it good? Is it bad? Put in, put, press the like button or dislike button if you like it or dislike it. And plus, put in, put in the comment section down below your personal theories. And I'll, if I can, I'll make a whole video about them. So, I'll see you, I'll see you soon, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the future.